Hello, this is Leo Bray on behalf of Kristen Olson's Urban Yoga Center. Visit us on the web at urbanyoga.org or on Facebook at Kristen Olson's Urban Yoga Center. Check out the schedule. It can change month to month. Today is the first of the month, so some changes coming out today. Uh, namely, this is the last Saturday session of guided meditation and mindful movement. It will no longer be this 9.30 a.m. Pacific class. But this same offering will be Wednesdays at 5.15 p.m. when we had a different class called Midweek Chill, which was similarly uh, low-key, but not as much focus on meditation and other changes as well. So go to the web to check out what's going on in the studio, what's going on in the park, and what's going on here on Zoom. Today, what's going on on Zoom is no students. That just happens sometimes. When we don't get students joining us on Zoom, we make a shorter video to add to the YouTube library. So all of our Zoom classes are recorded. You can access them later on whenever you want. And folks who use YouTube have told us that they like to have some shorter choices for when they don't have an hour to give to practice in a busy day. So today, I think we'll just do some guided meditation. Maybe it will lead to some mindful movement. Maybe it will just be seated meditation. I'm going to wing it uh, and see how it goes. And uh, so I don't forget to mention, also, when you visit us on Facebook or on the web, you can make donations to support these classes. Because all of our online classes, whether you're joining us on Zoom or on YouTube, this is all donation-based. When you come to the studio to take payments, as they, as they did in the before, the before times, prior to our Zoom and YouTube offers. So... I'm sitting on my blocks, as I most often do, as I'm doing, shifting around, getting a little more comfortable. Comfortable can be a moving target. So just get comfortable, whatever that looks like for you, and allow yourself to change position. Uh, meditating is not about being a statue. It's not about sitting stock still. Um, maybe you want to sit like this or in some other way. You could kneel, you could lie down. Whether we do any movement at the meditation or not, you can start the meditation in any posture at all. And if I then decide to lead us into some movement, I will transition you out of whatever starting posture you're in. Not to leave you hanging for a transition. Anyway, sometimes intros are longer than others. There's this funny phenomenon of talking just to the camera, not having anyone else live there to, to hear you or to respond. We get a different play role in the Zoom students. Make yourself comfortable. If you like, close your eyes. That's part of comfort. Maybe you're comfortable closing your eyes, and maybe you're not. Notice your breath. This is almost always where I start a practice. Focusing on the breath invites it to get deeper and slower. And this is part of our centering, focusing, grounding, coming into a more relaxed state of being. Know that your breath is just fine, however it is. We're not directing the breath. We're not going to do any specific breathing exercises here. Just being with our breath, just focusing on it. Cultivating what we call the witness self, observing ourselves. If you like monitoring ourselves, however you want to put it. Interoception, focusing within. Mm -hmm. 
scanning your body to notice whatever is going on there. Remembering that you're always welcome to modify what I'm doing or asking you to do. Skip anything at all except for the breathing. Just keep breathing and we'll be fine. And I thought today that we would do a loving kindness meditation. And as I offer you these words, these lines that I'm going to recite, we'll go through a few different rounds of this with different focuses. Okay. You prefer. Feel free to make the words your own, to rephrase what I'm saying so that it sounds more like the way you can say it. If it's a word or a phrasing that I'm using that doesn't sit well with you, you can change it. And maybe you even change the intention as well. Take a different focus than what I specify. Taking quiet time for ourselves. It's the most important thing. We're not here to memorize what I'm going to say. I have not memorized this stuff. I've done it enough times to remember the gist of it. I may not even say things the same way from one round to another. That's all right. That's just part of the practice, part of being human part of the imperfections of memory. So for the first round, bring to mind an acquaintance, someone that you see, someone you encounter with some regularity, but who you don't know very well. This could be someone you pass, in your travels on the street, maybe a clerk in the store, maybe a neighbor from down the street that you haven't really gotten to know, but you see all the time because you live near each other. Picture this person in your mind holding them in your mind's eye, in whatever setting you usually encounter them. And directing these words, these thoughts, these feelings towards your acquaintance. Like a, a wish, or if, if you like, like a, a blessing, an offering, and a gift. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy at peace. May you be healthy, body, mind, and spirit. Repeating again, may you be filled with loving kindness. Make you happy. Peace. May you be healthy, body, mind, and spirit. We'll do one more, we'll do three for each area of focus. Once more, may you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy without peace. May you be healthy, 
body, mind, and spirit. Turn your minds to continue past the first week. You can send this to finishing the mental trip past your acquaintance. Back to simply noticing your breath. Next, bring to mind someone you love dearly. It can be anyone at all. It doesn't have to be the first one that comes to mind. Maybe several came to mind. I'll take a few breaths to decide who to direct this next round towards. And know that there is no wrong choice. Whoever you choose, that that's the person that this loving kindness is intended to reach. Holding this loved one in your heart, in your mind's eye. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy. May you be healthy, body, mind, and spirit. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy and at peace. May you be healthy in body, mind, and spirit. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy and at peace. May you be healthy in body, mind, and spirit. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy and at peace. May you be healthy in body, mind, and spirit. Return to simply noticing your breath. Next, bring to mind someone you have a difficult relationship. There's some tension, maybe it's something ongoing, maybe it's something more momentary, some recent 
conflict that's come up. You can decide who it is and what conflicts. Maybe there's more than one person in your life that you have or have recently had some conflict with. Yeah. Seeing this person in your mind's eye, holding them in your heart. Say it again. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy and at peace. May you be healthy in body, mind, and spirit. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy and at peace. May you be healthy in body, mind, and spirit. May you be filled with loving kindness. May you be happy and at peace. May you be healthy in body, mind, and spirit. Come back. It's just noticing your breath for a few seconds. And the next round is for yourself. So yes, picture yourself in your mind. Maybe it's seeing yourself as you are resting right now in whatever posture you've chosen for the sanitation or picturing yourself in any other way you care to. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be happy and at peace. May I be healthy, body, mind, and spirit. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be happy and at peace. May I be healthy, body, mind, and spirit. May I be filled with loving kindness. May I be happy and at peace. May I be healthy, body, mind, and spirit. to return to noticing your breath 
maybe hug yourself if that's something you like to do, or if it's not something you like to do, maybe you decide to try it again. If you haven't tried it, I definitely recommend it. Yeah. Maybe let your arms go and have another hug crossing them near the way. Maybe this is today's movement practice, just a couple of hugs, or maybe just one, whatever you prefer. If you like, bring your hands to your heart. Thank yourself for taking the time to engage with this practice today. Maybe make a mental note that you can do this anytime. You can do some version of it without the video, without the map. Maybe it's not three different points of focus, three rounds for each, but some other numbers. There's no wrong way to do that. And the light within me sees and honors that same light within you. And thank you for sharing some of the kindness today. Namaste. Enjoy the rest of the day. Make it be all the loving kindness. I'm going to 